So actually very relative because um, the National School Board Association, you know, should be protecting our kids, um, actually is working to or tried to collude. A memo was leaked that um, basically stated that the National School Board of Association was asking from Biden um, to basically uh, deploy the National Guard and the military to school board meetings to control, quote unquote, domestic terrorist uh, parents. parents that are fighting, for example, anti-mask protocols. Right. And, you know, this was before they walked it back. This was before they so since had to they walk said it back this. and apologize. Right. So the first, according to the new like information, is that first the National School Board Association asked the Biden administration to send the National Guard basically the military acts to the school board right meeting. tanks to the school board meeting and then they say wait a minute don't do that instead label them as domestic terrorists right and that way they can enforce the patriot act right 9-11 patriot act uh -huh. um and you know spy on these parents which is what we have found out now through this investigation and in uh, through the house and whatnot so once again, we are back at one of your favorite subjects, which is the school boards and the amount of power that they have yeah. on over Biden right I now. I think that, again, you know, it's something that I've consistently brought up. And throughout the coverage of this leaked memo, it's come up again. The teachers union played a significant role in influencing CDC guidelines. Yeah, that what, came out finally. That fi also right. recently. And, uh, yeah, it's proven. Very this recently. isn't a this isn't a conspiracy theory. They were caught influencing the CDC, and people do not. It, it's so frustrating that I've been talking about this for a year, and I still feel like I'm talking to the winds. Where it's like the teachers' union has more influence over your life as a regular citizen than probably any other uh, any other organization in your local government. Because what they do is that the federal government has found a way of implementing their BS by using teachers' unions to enforce those policies locally. And they have a lot so of money to a, play. They've got a ton they've of money. They've got a lot of money to give to these um, politicians and influence. They've got a lot of money. And, you know, back again, it talks about the overreach into thinking that they are co-parents, which they are not. And, you know, looking at an example like this, it's like it's become where the school boards and the teachers' union – at no point in the last two years have I seen some kind of national example that shows that school boards or teachers union are willing to come and have a seat at the table with parents. It's been made very clear. They don't want parents involved in the decisions. They parents don't. are a nuisance. That's why they're labeling them as domestic terrorists because if you, and, I, and we've seen it not just this na at the national level, we had it at our, at our local level where Carla Marx. Um, the, the, te the, the president of, of the, the United teacher. Teachers of Dade, um, the first meeting when she saw pushback from parents was to label them conspiracy theorists, QAnon, before right anybody wing, had talked. you know, before anybody had talked, she was already tweeting and, um, a lot of nasty things were said about parents that sh have been showing up to the school board meetings as well as attacks. Um, but it just, it's, it's this entitlement that, they have power more or should have more power and say over your kids than you as a parent. And if you don't comply with uh, their ideology, what they want to teach, their curriculum, then therefore you are labeled as an extremist, as an, a domestic terrorist. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the teachers union is they're not just trying to be involved in things that come to your kids. You know, when you've got the teachers union being involved in initiatives um, when it comes to abortion, gun control, um, voting.